closer, and then we yeah. can just cut these parts out, like the awkward in between. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Okay, ready? Hey everyone, I'm Matthew. I'm Jackie. I'm Kenzie. And I'm Rochelle. And today, we're, we're going to teach, teach you how to build, build a neuron, neuron out of candy. candy. We're going to use marshmallows for our terminal. Twizzlers. I mean our axon. Pretzels for our terminal buttons. Gummy worms for our myelin sheath. And nerds will be our neurotransmitters. Now I'm going to pass you off to Jackie here and she's going to do a tutorial for you. And then. Hello. Uh, Jackie's going to be building our uh, neuron. So to start, the Twizzlers are going to be representing the axon. So it's part of the neuron that carries the action potential from the cell body to the terminal buttons. And then it's going to be covered in the myelin sheath, um, which helps uh, concentrate. It's a fatty substance that surrounds the neuron necessary for the proper functioning of the neuron. While she's doing that, you'll notice that there are empty spaces between the spaces of myelin. Those are called the nodes of Ranvier, and it helps with the energy flowing through the axon. As you'll notice, the pieces that are coming off of the ends, these right here are called the dendrites. So they are uh, symbolized by these little pieces, and they are the ears of the neuron that receive input from the other neurons through the cell. The terminal is symbolized by marshmallows. It has vesicles that hold the neurotransmitters that are located at the end of the axon. <laughs> okay, so the terminal button is symbolized by pretzel sticks. But at the end of a branch of an, ax an axon, release neurotransmitters into the syn synapse, forms a synapse with other neurons. Oh, the neurotransmitters are symbolized with nerds. A chemical that is released by a terminal button into a synapse and has either an excitatory or inhibitory effect on other neurons. And this is the finished product. Ta-da! I will be showing you the process of a signal passing through a neuron. The dendrites receive a signal from a neighboring neuron. The signal goes through the axon hillock, also known as a trigger zone, which decides whether or not a signal will be passed down the axon. If the signal is passed, it is referred to as an action potential or electrical signal and travels down the axon. As the actual potential travels down the axon, it skips over the myelinated part of the axon to the exposed portions, also known as the nodes of Ranvier. The skipping pattern from one node of Ranvier to the next is known as saltatory conduction. Once the signal reaches to the end of the axon, the terminal releases neurotransmitters and the signal becomes chemical. The neurotransmitters are released into the synapse where they are picked up by a neighboring neuron. The signal becomes electrical once again and the process starts all over. I'm Kenzie. I'm Rochelle. And today we're going to teach you how to build a neuron out of candy. 
And then that's when you would throw the stuff in. We're gonna use... That is all me. No. <laughs> Wait, can we see the video? To see if it sounds clear before we or start recording. It's just a practice. Fizzlers for our cell body. I mean, our axon. Hey, everyone. I'm Matthew. I'm Jackie. I'm Kenzie. And I'm Rochelle. And today, we're, we're going to teach, teach you how, how to build, build a neuron, neuron out of candy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cute if we all got it. For our myelin sheath, we will be using gummy bears, worms. We will be using gummy worms. <laughs> for guys, how to build a neuron out of candy. Woo! <laughs> okay. Hello. So I will be building. Something needs to sit here. Our story effect on other neurons. 